when, when you go through and you work with Chris Stapleton and you work with Jason Isbell, can you tell me a little bit about your process? I working mean, with these artists funny, and pulling both of those, out. Both of those two artists I sought out. I heard you Jason did. Isabel about seven years ago, I uh, dropped by Truckers, and I heard uh, a song called Outfit, and I heard that song and the lyrics, and it yeah. shook me up. So I wanted to chase him down and track him down, and luckily we got connected to make a record. Chris Stapleton, another band, played me Chris Stapleton about seven, eight years ago. So it took a long time, long time. to meet these people I wow. really wanted to work with, but I never kind of wow. lost focus on it. And uh, and fortunately, they, they both reached out and were able to you know go and cut up together and make these records. That's amazing. What do you think the secret is to establishing a great relationship with an artist? I, I don't know. I think you either have it or you don't when you meet these people. I mean, yeah. it's about people and it's about working with people who you look up to and people you also identify with. So it really wasn't working to get to know these guys. It felt like both of them, when I first met them, I'd known them forever. And it's very natural, very easy. You know? And how do you feel with this nomination tonight? I'm ready for today to be over with. Are you yeah, already? Yeah, We're only like an hour yeah, in. I know, I know. I know, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I mean, it's really exciting. It's also. Yeah. You know, it's ex well, it could be heartbreaking or exciting or both at the same time. So, I'm just uh, I'm happy to be here though. Do you have a speech prepared if you no, win? No, never do. No. I go I go every time thinking I'm going to lose. Okay. So you know, probably lose today too. So. I don't know. I think I think my money says you're the horse to be. Just saying. I, I think know. a lot of people would, would agree with that. Do you ever get mistaken for somebody else or a different celebrity? All the time. Yeah. Who do you yeah. get mistaken for? I don't know. guess. I, don't, I mean, the hair says like John Lennon, Beatles, no. and what, what are you? <laughs> Never got we had we had someone earlier that was said that they get mistaken for John Lennon all the time. Really? Even though everybody knows. I I get tortured <laughs> with the Christian Bale thing a lot. Christian Bale. Oh, yeah, oh, I can totally see that. So, Christian Bale. But I, you know, whatever. I should just call myself Batman. There you go.